Hey everybody, I'm JT here with Fun Emotion Toys and this is Robert Becker, the inventor of Hyper Tiles and we are going to show you six different ways that you can connect Hyper Tiles together. So we're going to start with the most simple way of all, we're connecting it edge to edge, there's the connector, and we're going to do so in a way that we call the spiral, flush spiral connection. So these two pieces put together to make this component, you can cer oh. certainly make a nice little spiral like this, which then has all kinds of fun things you can do with it. Isn't that fun there? This is gonna look exactly the same, but it's not. Ready for this? Edge to edge, flush, zigzag. And how do you get the difference between the two? You simply rotate one of them 90 degrees. See that spiral, boom, there's zigzag. And what would a zigzag do? Here's a wonderful example of a zigzag. That's a zigzag chain that we can then use to make our zigzag flexi -loop. loop. That's gotta be one of my favorites. Yeah. Let's look at what happens if we don't go flush, if we go staggered, okay? So we'll start with spiral again here. Instead of spiral flush, we're gonna go spiral. See, it's still spiral, but now it's gonna be staggered. Okay, and you've got lots of degrees you can stagger. We'll stagger it the most there. Where could this be used? We got some lots of cool structures for this. Every one of these, and we've made this now, these pieces have been made into a component. This looks like a triangular prism. These are triangular prisms, and this whole thing then would be a sculpture we call a truncated cube. You got it. Yeah. Then we have, as you might guess, so this would be zigzag, but it's flush, so we're gonna go stagger with it. And rather than looking like a C, it looks kind of like an S. There's the distinction between those two. This is used in probably my favorite of all structures, and that is our structure of diamond, which is nothing but, you can see all the S's in there. Another option is, you ready for this? Edge to face. See, these are also open for connection, so here's one. And to be honest, the connectors were not made with the intention of connecting to the face of the hyper tile, but it works. That's a stable structure right there. And it hinges as well, it's got hinging. More hinging going on on the edge side than on the face side, but still, sure. lots of hinging. And one structure we've made with this, cheerleader. the cheerleader, because yeah. it looks like one of these, uh, right, little pom-poms up in the air. And I think you can guess what the last one is. Oh, it's gotta be face to face. And get this, which could be then made into a complete circle with more of them, and that gives rise to structures like this, which, I just love. We can't wait to see what you create. I'm JT. This is Bob. We'll see you next time, y'all. Happy creating.